So in my other video, I just showed you how to quickly lower uh, your C8 Stingray or Z06. Here's uh, my Z06 with Z07 package. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing uh, brake bleed. Um, these carbon ceramic brakes and uh, Remo calipers have bleeders on both sides. Um, so you basically need to make sure that you're cleaning out both sides but you really only need to worry about getting uh, the line cleaned out through one side of the caliper. Obviously the forward side is the easiest. And then once you get um, you know, fresh fluid coming back out through here, which we're using RBF 600 today, um, then what you can do is just do a quick bleed on the other side just to kind of pull uh, any of the remaining fluid that's in that second part of that channel, which is just you know maybe a quarter of an inch or, or half inch um in, in the crossover here that's going to need so it's just uh, you're going to bleed it for a second or two um i didn't have any 3 16 fuel line i had some quarter it doesn't um sit on the nipple as perfect as it could but um it sits on there good enough honestly um not that concerned about it but always put the wrench on first this is an 11 millimeter wrench what i like to do is i like to start all the way over against uh as far over as I can. Um, so it kind of gives me a, a point of reference of where to stop. You know, you don't want to over torque a bleeder and bust it off. So I know if I basically kind of set it up as close to the uh, caliper as possible, I know that once I kind of get to the point where I'm touching that caliper, it's as tight as it was when it came off. So once you have it, you know, again, like this, you're going to put the hose on. Now, if you wanted to put a, you know, a, uh, 90 degree hose barb on here so you have less fluid that's coming up and around you could um it doesn't bother me that much um and then what i'm gonna do here is i'm going to pop this in the other side of the wrench which actually gives a nice little way of holding your line so it's, it doesn't pop off so just make sure it's nice and straight here and that's sitting like this um now all we're gonna have to do is essentially open the valve and if you go kind of one through like three quarters of a rotation that the wrench can turn, that's gonna be enough, uh, the fluid's gonna come out. But let's go up front and take a look at what we have going on up there. Okay, so we have our power bleeder here. Um, just like any drive-by-wire braking system, you're gonna to need to take the battery, uh, disconnect the battery, because you uh, the braking system's gonna freak out if you try to do uh, bleeding um, with the sole on. So really simple, you know, to remove these panels that you have on the outside, you just have you know, the one clip over here, you just kind of pull it straight out. And the other side over here, the little edges, you pull those straight out, which are those two pieces there. And then the big piece, you just kind of, just you just pop them up from the corner, just go straight across um, and just pop, pop, pop. And then the whole, that whole panel will come out and off. Um, 10 millimeter on the negative battery terminal, just kind of tuck it off around the corner there so it doesn't accidentally pop up and uh, touch the terminal while you're working here. Um, I, I get four bottles of RBF 600 when I do a brake fluid change for the first time. I really want to flush the whole entire braking system out. So what I'll do is I'll actually start uh, with the power bleeder. I go from the 1.3 to 1.5 bar range. Um, I got to pump this up a little bit more here. But basically what I want to do is start this with uh, no fluid in the system to start. And I want to drain the um, reservoir about three quarters of the way down because I want to push all the old fluid out and then I'm going to put some more fluid back on top of that um, by just manually filling it back up and then I'm going to push that fluid back down out again. Um, basically I'll target like the right rear wheel to start at. I'm going to run almost a bottle and a half through that right rear wheel because um, I want it, everything to be clean from the reservoir down um, and then at that point all I have to do is worry about getting the actual lines to each other corner of the car uh, cleaned out, but at least the reservoir is clean to, you know, in the, the ABS pump and any, any sort of junction blocks and stuff like that is all cleaned out. Um, and then again, um, once I go to each, each side corner, so I'm gonna start at the back right, I'm gonna go to the uh, left uh, rear or driver's side rear, then I'm gonna come up to the passenger side front, and then I'm gonna do the driver's side front. And I'm just going to run one of those two channels, um, you know, wide open, probably for about a half a bottle's worth. And I, I, I know I meter these out. I, I only put 
one bottle at a time in here because I want to know how much I'm going through. I don't put all four in there and then I don't meter it properly. So I'm trying to get, you know, again, about a good full bottle, maybe a bottle and a half just to clean out the reservoir and the lines. And then I'm at about half of a bottle to three quarters of a bottle on each individual corner. I don't use as much in the front because obviously the lines coming out here to the front is not as long as going to the back of the car. So probably about three quarters of a bottle for each rear and then about a half a bottle is in the front. And like I said, I'll use all four um, brand new bottles uh, to basically flush this out properly. And I'll keep a little bit at the bottom here as just a reserve, just in case, you know, uh, I'm pushing fluid here and then, you know, this is going, um, pushing air, then I don't want this to, you know, not have enough uh, level in it. But you can see that uh, the orange tint that's in here versus the clear uh, of the standard brake fluid. So I've already got the RBF in here. I'm just wrapping up this last wheel, which I'm showing as a demonstration, and this will be, be done. But um, you can see the color change, especially if you're, you have it in a bottle that, uh, that you can see through. You can, and you can like just pay attention, have a light on it. You can see it go from the clear to the brown. You'll just kind of transition that color um, and then just kind of flow it out a little bit more beyond that just to get all the remnants out of the line. And that's it. Um, the pressure bleeder holds its pressure pretty well. Um, it, you mean, you can pretty much do, you know, 20 or 30 seconds um, of a bleed before you need to come over here and pump it a couple more times as far as getting the pressure back up in it again and uh, making sure that you've got that, you know, 1.3 to 1.5 bar pressure um, when you're doing the brake fluid. So like I said, I'm gonna do uh, the one last outside corner kind of very thoroughly, and then I will just maybe five seconds or so, uh, maybe 10 seconds max on the uh, inside channel, just so uh, we have nice fresh fluid out to the back of that bleeder. And that's pretty much all you gotta do uh, to do racing brake fluid in a Z06. And even though this is a Z06, they do not come with racing brake fluid from the factory. So you will need to do this if you plan to race your Z06.